the people who applied for asylum seeking and their applications was rejected recently so they want to send back those people not the yes. people no 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 we're talking about anyone with a proper visa with proper paperwork legally they can't do anything about it it's legally they cannot do anything about it if you came here with a visa if you have a I will obviously be coming with a visa to study and to work and you would have you know, an auspice which do that. So I didn't interrupt, but the concern is, so the AFD party is not against the people who is living in Germany legally. They are against those people who is living illegally, am I right? Well, I would say the AFD party are against anyone who's colored. And if they could push them all out, they would. But the AfD party is one party out of six, seven parties. And in Germany, you know, it's about coalitions. It is very unlikely, mathematically, it's very unlikely that the AfD is going to win. They might win a few cities here and there, but they cannot win enough to actually govern Germany. Because the system here is not like other countries where one party can rule. Considering German history, they made all these safeguards so the Hitler Nazi party situation doesn't come again. So there are a lot of safeguards in the German constitution and in the German high court to make sure that even if they do come, which is incredibly unlikely, they can't do most of the things that they talk about. Because again, talking is easy. Being in government is hard after World War II. There have been many parties, neo-Nazi parties came and disappeared. So I wouldn't be much, I would, I would never hinge my future or my future plans to come to Germany or not come to Germany, to study or not to study or to work, not to work in Germany for this kind of AfD rhetorics that I hear. That is, I, would, I wouldn't take that into consideration at all. If there is an opportunity, if there is a chance for the person to come to Germany to work here, and they can provide value for society, like they can produce things, they can they not come here and, and, and like be, uh, they can come to Germany and they will live here in Germany quite well. Okay, maybe I can add something here. I recently I have, uh, I have read some newspaper regarding the skilled worker like us, where is yeah. from March. This year, March, the, we have so many new rules, which was quite amazing. For example, uh, previously, if you uh, apply for your spouse, you have to show a big house. I mean, an adequate space for your wife and children. But now this will be eliminated after March. And the biggest change they have bring to the table, if you apply for your parents, your parents will get resident permit like US or in Canada, they are the okay. So this is a massive change they are going to implement after March. So there's a good news for us, skilled worker in Germany, so I must okay. say that. What is your... Obviously, well, the Germans wouldn't do that if they didn't need it, because they're realizing that they need the workforce. So the AfD talks about pushing people out. The German government knows that they need people in, and they're trying to change the laws to actually take more immigrants, skilled immigrants. We know when we talk about Germany wanting immigrants, they want the working type of immigrants, so people who have knowledge, who can produce, because Germany is a country of production. What they don't want are people who come here and you know, seek asylum and then are burden on the system. So they just uh, want to move, take out from the German system, you know, not give in the German system. That's why. So I wouldn't say that they are so loving towards foreigners. I would say it's a calculated movement. Okay. It's a calculated movement. You need workers, you need producers, and obviously you're going to, you want to have them in. And obviously you change the laws so that they can come in easier and more of them. Are you an IT specialist employment or an EU blue card? To obtain an EU blue 